Well, howdy, folks. It's your old pal, Captain Spaulding, again. Yes, I'm here to tell you about a brand new attraction, Mary the Monkey Girl. Oh, yeah. That's right. This here little honey is half real human, half monkey. I brought all the way from the wilds of Borneo. So y'all come in, make sure you bring little Johnny and Susie with you. She'll scare the holy guacamole out of them. <laughs> and remember, while you're down here, pick up your Captain Spaulding for President T-shirts. Come in all shapes and sizes. Small, medium, large, and jumbo for our big bone friends. Ha <laughs> ha! We all know how you got that way, too, huh? Yes, from eating my delicious fried chicken. <laughs> oh, yes. Just keeps getting better all the time. God bless America, and God bless Captain Spaulding. <laughs> Want to know about the biggest metal bands in the industry? Want to know about those legend tier bands you just can't do without? You need to go to deathbymetalstl.com right now to keep up to date on all your favorite bands, interviews, backstage stories, and lots more. Go there right now. See what all the buzz is about. Deathbymetalstl.com. You're listening to the Pit Midwest Metal Radio. Make sure to catch our shows every Wednesday from 1 o'clock till 5 p.m. and every Monday night from 5 p.m. till 10 p.m. for Monday Night Metal. Tune in every week on our Facebook page for our live links and live broadcasts at www.facebook.com front slash the Pit Midwest Metal Radio. Thanks for listening and stay metal, guys. What's up, guys? I am back from the break, and man, what's going on, dudes and dudettes? It's a fucking awesome day. Well, not really in St. Louis. It's kind of fucking gross outside, but it's always awesome when we play metal, so I'm good with that. Um, My shit's going crazy, obviously. My phone's going crazy. My fucking other messenger's going crazy. It's all nuts. So, man, check it out. We got a show we're going to be going to soon. And we've been talking about this for a while, but I want to give you guys a reminder again. It's Dime Fest with Cemetery Gates, tribute to Pantera, okay? This is a very important fucking show, god damn it. You assholes need to be there. Seriously, you really do. You need to be there. Cuz if you're not there, you're fucking dickbag. Okay? Cuz it's free. Okay? You can pro- you can go to Pops and pick up free tickets now. Okay? They have them there if you're a local to St. Louis area. Okay, it's at 401 Monsanto Avenue. It's at Sauget, Illinois. S-A-U-G-E-T, Illinois. Okay, check that shit out. Go to popsrocks.com. That's their fucking Facebook, all right? Or uh, their, their, excuse me, their .com. They're on Facebook as well. They're on Twitter as well. Uh, and I'm pretty sure they're on other social media sites as well. Now, this show is going down December 10th, okay? The, the doors are at 7 o'clock. The show is at 7.30. This is an all-ages show. However, Pops does not close. So, that means at midnight, all the miners got to go home. Sorry, guys, but if you can't drink, there's really no reason for you to be in a bar. Just saying. That's all I'm saying. So, that being said and shit, be at this show. Dime Fest. Cemetery Gates. Be there. Uh... Homies and Outcome of Betrayal are going to be there. And I'm pretty sure uh, a bunch of other local bands are going to be there. And it's going to be a fucking awesome night. Because Pops is a fucking huge venue. And uh, these things always, always pack out. So you better go up there and get your free tickets while they're still there. Because if they run out of free tickets, I'm pretty sure it'll be like five bucks at the door the day of the show. So if you don't get your free tickets now, you won't get into it for free. I mean, it's still cool to pay five bucks and support the bands if you want to do that. That's totally baller. I, I 100% am cool with that. I'm just letting you know. Get your free tickets now while they last. So, that being said, man, coming up soon here in December, we got Goat Whore coming up. Uh, I'm going to be putting some money back here this week so uh, we can take our uh, employee of the month, Jason Brown, with us. Because he, uh, he won employee, the Employee of the Month, basically, uh, for sharing like a crazy son of a bitch. I swear to God, I look at this guy's activity, and I would swear he was a robot if I didn't know any better. 
Like, if I was just some dumbass stranger who had no clue, I would completely assume he was, like, a robot. I mean, I, I don't know how he does it, but he's on my level of being a robot, so I can appreciate this guy, and he does a lot of fucking work, and he busts his ass. Now, I also want to give a shout-out to Katie, Will, and everybody else that busts their ass here on the crew, too, because I know you guys are fucking killing it, too. Don't think I forgot about you guys. See, I'm going to start having prizes for the staff. Uh, no matter where you're at, and this goes for Alan, this goes for everybody who shares, okay? If you get the most share reach in, uh, say, a week or a two-week time out of everybody, and then the next two weeks you're really good at sharing out and you peaked out real hard, you could actually win a prize for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, w- I will send you some cool shit, okay? Send you some memorabilia, something neat, an album, T-shirt, something. I'll send you some cool shit. You guys get on a crazy level. By the way, uh, to all my staff, just want to give a quick notice. Uh, We're going to try to have a Skype meeting with us if we can set that up here this upcoming week. I want to show you guys some tips and tricks for how to promote your internet stations, your bands, and your brands. I'm also going to post some tutorial videos on YouTube about this and share them out uh, for the pit. So you guys who are all out there trying to start your own thing or uh, get off the ground as a musician or want to start a radio station yourselves, uh, this is a perfect opportunity for you to learn how to network that and actually how to build your your clientele base. Because if you don't have anybody to listen to your station, then you don't really need a station. You know what I'm saying? So, you want to be able to develop a clientele base and that consumer base, essentially. 